Hello my soccer universe, we are part 7, the pen penultimate part uh, of this uh, jersey review and I have decided instead of my usual knee-jerk uh, choices in this group with Brazil or Cameroon I decided I give the Swiss some love because after all, not only is my brother living in Switzerland, they are the neighbors, you know, he has quite some common sense and I like this jersey Probably, nah, not, not necessarily the best, but it, it's a really, really nice uh, jersey. So yeah, another great World Cup group. Uh, we have actually a Puma majority here. I see that the black is not, I like it symmetric, so oh, it will move. Uh, <laughs> we have two Puma jerseys here. We have a new supplier that no one ever has heard with one for Cameroon. And we have, of course, Nike's big one in Brazil. Uh, I go through the group as it's seeded, so we start with Brazil, Serbia, then we go Switzerland, then we go Cameroon at the very, very last. You see, I have the new Brazil away jersey hangs up there, looking very nice among these as well. I give every jersey a, ray, a grade from 1 to 10, 1 being the worst, 10 being the best, and now we move into it and we'll start with Brazil, their new home jersey. And I cannot tell you how much this one has grown on me. When I see it here, the first one, the first thing that I thought is, ah, the, the, the um, yellow is way too bright. I will wait until you see this in match. This is such a glorious look. It actually doesn't look off at all. It looks very much Brazil. It looks vibrant. It looks colorful. Everything about this is super, super, super nice. I also, I am more or less a traditionalist. So for me, adding another color to the trim, in this case, the blue, should not work, but it actually does. It actually balances this jersey out. The only downside, and I'm not grading this, is the numbers on this one, because they look awful. They, re they actually uh, distract a little bit. If they would have used the set from 2018, this would have worked a real, real treat. Uh, it also helps that the template is more or less the same as they used, uh, that Nike uses for France with the same type of color, which, funnily enough, when uh, such a color was released in the 90s by Puma, I thought, what's this? And now it's actually a real class color. I really like it. And the new Federation crest, first time we see it at the World Cup, uh, still need to get somewhat used to it. But on the other side, I don't hate it anymore. Although I really think why the yellow is going out still boggles my mind. The coup de grace for this one is, of course, the leopard vapor knit pattern in there. That takes this shirt to a whole other level. It's very, very subtle, but this print all over, boy, this makes this from a rather, you know, from a very good and class looking jersey, it elevates it to the next level. Now, uh, it is not as classy as I think as is the um, France home shirt. However, it's pretty darn close. This is one, the more I see it, it's a really outstanding look. It's something different for Brazil. It's more modern. We have also uh, a blue swoosh where we usually had a green swoosh. So they're sw switching around the colors, but it's quintessentially Brazilian. It's very vibrant. It's very full of life. I really love it. It's not my most favorite shirt at the World Cup, but it is damn near close i actually i'm gonna give this a 10 star it's a really 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 nice one and also the away jersey um is right up there the one thing that holds the away jersey back in my opinion is the template because they have this trap so it however credit where credits do they refrain from coloring this in green they left it blue so actually uh, it's hidden away and you see it from a distance and it actually looks quite nice and uh, good and then I like my Brazil jerseys also again very traditionalist I actually do like them in blue and white most but blue and yellow has been a pattern that has been used and I actually enjoy it Using now green as an accent color came as a little bit of a surprise. And at first I was kind of, hmm, what's this? 
However, it works. And I always say blue and green is the most underused combination for soccer jerseys. Add to it the leopard pattern from the home jersey. Now make it a little bit more obvious uh, with a slight fade, fade, fade effect. And I have to say, this is a true winner for me. Again, not, not something for the purists. And I usually am a purist, but here I'm actually willing to say, okay, they did something original here. We have never seen this on a Brazil jersey and it works. And have you seen the pants that, not the ones that are worn by the, by the players, but the pants, the yellow pants with all the leopard print in um, blue and green there, which I would love if, if the players would wear these because they just fit perfectly with this shirt. I think they also released some jackets with, with that. Yes, out there, completely out there. But the jungle is wild. And that's where this is coming from. You know, most Brazilian players do not come out of the jungle and so on. But I cannot tell how much I like it. I also really like that the swoosh here is in green. Something completely different. I think Nike did an extra... Once you get rid of your pre uh, preconceptions here, Nike did something really good here. They really went all out and did something really interesting and nice for Brazil here. Although I have this jersey, I do not like it as much as the home jersey, but it's pretty darn close. And the only reason why I'm not giving it the same grade is because of the template, which I really do not like. However, it's something original. You don't really see the template unless you look closely. And for that reason, I'm also going to give this nine stars. Brazil really, really looking good at this World Cup. Serbia, on the other hand, that's a different story. Um, the home jersey is not bad. It's the new Ultra Weave template by Puma. Uh, and I think the red with the golden accents work nice. I actually, I know it's hated in Serbia. The crest actually is pretty cool. I gotta say, uh, you have the double eagle there. Um, I don't mind it. Much better than what Austria is doing. I think it would have worked better if they would have just left it then in plain red. The crosses in there seem a little bit haphazard. Give me a little bit more. Either make the pattern a little bit more known. And yes, there's a cross in the crest, blah, blah, blah. And I know Serbia, when they had Nike and Amro before, they very often put a cross uh, over the jersey, which is something probably that should have adopted full time. But it leaves me wanting. It doesn't look class in many ways. This is just average. It's actually a little bit below average. I'll give this four stars and it really doesn't get better with the away jer uh, jersey. That one became legendary up there. Uh, initially I was a little bit off, but uh, the color co co combination got me. Here, taking out any red is not a good idea. The crest looks awful on there. In addition, here is an example where the box really does not work. It looks a little bit like a bottle cap or something like that. Uh, don't mind the gold, but <laughs> what is this? It does not work for me at all. It's one of the worst kits. And then it's otherwise rather plain. Whereas for Morocco and even Senegal, I actually did enjoy this. I do not enjoy it here. This is one of the worst kits out there. There's white and, 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 and gold. Um, I'm gonna give this one star. It's not a good one. Staying with Puma and average kids, we go to Switzerland. Um, well, they at least time at least they did something different this time around. Now, the picture here is particularly bad the way the jersey is shown, but you know uh, that's the stock picture they have. Red Switzerland, all fine. I actually like the white gradient up top. It reminds me a bit of the '96 jer uh, jer jersey where they had a true gradient. It was uh, back from Lotto, so uh, not exciting. I don't want as my Switzerland home jersey to be exciting, but also not bad. Again, my biggest gripe is the square flag. Go back to the roundel. Go back to the roundel. How often do I need to repeat this? That Switzerland would look better if their cross was in a round shape. It makes it instantly instantly look much much better other than that i think they're not using the helvetica font that they used before which is a shame other than that i think it's 
a decent jersey. Six stars. And then the away jersey <laughs> is about as Swiss as Swiss can be. Hey, it's not white, it's gray mostly. Yes, it's a little lighter gray and then fades into a darker gray. Uh, it gives me the vibes of this 2016 jersey, just showing. However, this one is outstanding, whereas this one, uh, the box, you know, there's a gradient in there. The box, it looks like Hello My Name Is. One of those stickers. It doesn't make any sense to me. I actually would be alright if you straighten out the top box, uh, the top part, the red part, and then get rid of the white ones. I think actually you might be onto something here. But yeah, Puma, what were you thinking about here? It's not as bad as Serbius, because there is a little bit there, but the gray, it's about the most neutral color for the most neutral country out there. And it also doesn't quite fit. I mean, heck, make the box the Swiss flag. That would be something. You know, I love this jersey because the Swiss cross is here in the center. It, it, it serves some other purpose than just being the outline. Da, 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 da. Not exciting. Not great. But I can see there's a little bit there that uh, represents Switzerland. I'm gonna go begrudgingly, begrudgingly with a four star here. And we are at what I consider probably the worst set of the entire World Cup. Cameroon's New Jersey's by one. Positive, we have a, a flag sleeve cuffs. You should have used that for the color as well. And let me say that the home jersey is probably the least offensive of these because we have kind of a tone green in green. But what should the pattern be? I actually think it's probably somewhere a lion's mane, but... Or maybe some, some tribal headgear, whatever it is. I mean, it needs to be explained to me. For me, it doesn't look Cameroon. I want Cameroon as wild as Brazil or plain, if this was a plain shirt, I actually would look past all the little imperfections there. Uh, it just, it doesn't do it for me. It's, it's a, it, it's an awful shirt overall. And then the backstory with it, uh, with it, you know, that, uh, they quit the, uh, um, the contract with Lecoq Sportif unilaterally, um, does not endear it. Two stars for this one it's not a great one especially the pattern doesn't look although on the pants it looks better the i've seen this as a third or an away jersey i say now the white one's the away jersey because it makes a little bit more sense um honestly white and green it doesn't look bad but it's the pattern that completely ruins this for me it's a smidgen better than the home jersey it's a smidgen because the, it does something that's a little bit counter. It's a little bit more interesting. Oh, it's still not a great jersey. I'm also still going to go two with these. And we have a third jersey in red, which also does not make a whole lot of sense. Maybe within an African context, it could make sense, uh, given that there are also some other green jerseys. But um, the red is for me the worst. Uh, it ticks all the wrong boxes. I'm even gonna go with this one for a one star. Uh, what were Cameron thinking? Really, what were Cameron thinking here? Uh, admittedly, when you see them in match from a distance and they don't see all the patterning, especially the home, home jersey, it does look Cameron and it's a great kit. However, when I look at the jerseys in the, uh, particular, it's not. So there you go. These are all the jerseys in group G. Which ones do you like? Which ones do you dislike in here? Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel for some more videos like these. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so to get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.